fellow explorer, and welcome to Babes HQ. A place where dreams and nightmares converge. Where darkness is shrouded in even darker darkness. Welcome to Unsolved Babesteries. We recently became embroiled in some haunted hijinks in our hometown of Sleepy Hollow. The Headless Horseman, a centuries old ghost, searching for a lost head and thirsting for blood. Hey, sorry dudes, I know we've like been over this before, but I just really don't think shooting this in a bright pink room is gonna create the mood we're going for. This is the only studio they had available and it's gonna work. And do you know what's gonna create the, the mood? Good writing and proper editing. As it became clear that this headless horseman could take on the identities of the dearly departed, we realized we should be documenting this. Because like Memorial Day sale at a Vineyard Vines, this was something to behold. But before we introduce our first head, we need to admit why we're really making this show. It's time to make amends. You see, the three babes standing before you used to be four babes. And our other brother was very dear to us. Then he started going through a phase in high school that we deemed soups uncool. So we let him go. And it's one of my biggest regrets that after a lot of soul searching, we realized that's not who we are. That's not our vibe. And trust us, we vibe out hard. Always be vibing. Be yourself. Be sustainable. Live. Laugh. Love. We thought this show could be an opportunity to fix a bridge we burned years ago. That's just a metaphor, but we did actually burn a bridge that we have no intention of repairing. Yeah. City planning committee, burn in hell. <laughs> so, as part of Unsolved Babe Stories, we decided to reach out to our other brother, apologize, and see if he wanted to be a part of our newest endeavor. Thankfully, he agreed. To err is human, my dudes. Mm. To forgive. Divine. Divine. Babe's roll call. <laughs> Trip. Cal. Blair. And <sighs> Spike. So Spike, how you been? Decent. I traded my faux hawk and black nail polish for a degree in computer science and. House in Providence. Oh, sounds conscientious, dull, and aspirational all at the same time. Initially, I ignored your call. Why, open up old wounds. But then I realized I have ascribed these monuments a false sense of permanence. Also, my therapist said talking to you three again might help heal me. Might help me move on from the turmoil of high school. Might help me stop speaking solely in death cap for cutie lyrics. So here I am. And we are so stoked to have you on the show. And like, honestly, I can't even remember why we heinously shunted you from our friend group all those years ago. I do. It's because I started wearing a diluted color palette of chromes and onyx shades and listening to songs about the pain of living instead of the joy of doing shots. Ooh, speaking of shots, check out this shot we got the other morning during our AM Constitutional. Eyes, 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 Dude, what is this dude doing? I don't even think that's the proper shovel. When my daddy hired a contractor to build a second floor on our guest house, he was using a different- shh, shh, shh. My dude, he's like looking for lost treasure. What in Wiseman's Follies are you boys doing out here? Uh, we're, we're just- uh, uh, Doing uh, drugs and weird sex stuff, what? Yeah. Is that a pirate? No, no, more importantly, are you filming in portrait mode? What? Yes, composition, mise-en-scene, these are the things that tell a good story. What? Dude, it's sideways. Oh, fantastic example. Yes. Oh, remember that, that mm. scene where drunken Paul Giamatti stumbles oh. into the phone booth oh. and calls his ex-wife? Yes. Oh. No, bro, it's actually sideways. No, that, that, that's exactly the point. If, if you didn't have that sort of claustrophobia, that, 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 that tangible environment, you would never feel the impact of the story. Uh, dude, that movie's overrated. You ever watch the Superior Wine movie, Bottle Shack? How dare you. That is a pirate. And I think you found a treasure chest. Let's go. 
And that's when we entered stage left. <laughs> to tell stories is the thread of life, and film beeth the yarn. Mm. To experience the joy of making your own blanket that you may mm. one day wrap about yourself in a warm cocoon of human experience. What? Uh, to help make our show, Eugene and Ramona Trousers invited themselves. And we brought with us our talent, our yes. guidance, our direction, our charm, our winning smiles, camera equipment, crafty. And this boom mic. Welcome to the beginning of a beautiful partnership. The studio is perfect. I was just thinking that. The studio was faultless. Uh, although it is the good writing and proper editing that create the mood. Of course. Now, before we go, I think the audience wants to know, Cal, you're blonde? Yeah, this is my real hair. This is the real me. Normally, I just wear a day wig, but I just feel so comfortable here at Babes HQ to like really be myself, you know? That's honestly beautiful. And I think it's really cool that you're blonde now, like me. <laughs> Man, maybe someday I'll feel comfortable enough to show you guys my real hair. <sighs> That'll be the day.